All right, back again. Today we got out the NES, and I figured we could put in this game here, Vice Project Doom. So pop that in and play some of that. Now, for those of you who have played this game, this video will be of no surprise. Uh, for those of you who have never played the game or have never heard of it before, this game will be uh, hopefully pretty interesting for you. Now, this game incorporates a couple of different aspects from other popular games that we all know, but uh, let's jump into it and I'll show you what I mean. This first stage here, um, as you can notice, we have our hero and he's sitting in the car. Basically, this is a driving stage, and for this driving stage, it has a lot of similarities to Spy Hunter. I'll skip out of this. And down at the bottom here, you have your uh, three-speed stick, and uh, definitely, if you're in third gear, you're going to be going a lot faster. But throughout this stage, what you basically want to do is just try and blow up everything that's in your way, um, collect different items, and... Uh, by the time you get to the end, there's a, a small boss. He's not really anything too difficult at all, but it does have some really good music for this first stage. Uh, unfortunately, it's kind of hard to hear with all the shooting going on in the background. And then again, if you don't shoot, you die. <laughs> so. got our boss. Now if you're into shooters uh, or you play a lot of shooters, this guy's going to be just a, a walk in the park. There's not going to be any problem fighting him at all. If, yeah, I think even if you're not uh, a big shooter fan, I think this would still be something that's not too difficult. The second stage is where it gets really interesting because the first stage is kind of a teaser, but it doesn't even give you a, the slightest idea what the second stage is going to be like when we started off here. This is where it starts to get interesting. Now, the second stage onwards, second stage, uh, third part of the stage, they have a lot of similarities to Batman. Now, if you remember, Batman for the NES was actually made by Sunsoft, whereas this game is made by Sammy. And I don't know which, which side um, maybe came up with the concept first, but one thing's for sure is they have a lot of similarities. And uh, if you can't tell the exact similarities now, hopefully you can see some of them by the time we get to the uh, third stage or second or third stage. Also, one other thing to note is at the bottom, in the bottom uh, middle there, you can see you have uh, three items. By pressing the select button, you can choose from either your wand here, you can uh, choose a gun, or here you have bombs. All of these come in really handy depending on uh, which part in the stage you are. It does have a lot of Asian-based theme to it. Um, from the third stage on, it gets a little bit more. Um, for right now, it does have some parts that are really, um, that look really Asian to it, but by the time you get to the, uh, the second stage, it just becomes more and more obvious that you're not in, uh, you're not in any sort of European country here. Now here's our first boss. Nothing too special, he's uh, pretty simple as long as you stay on him and you watch out for the beams that he's launching because you get hit by those and yeah, you lose a little bit of life. But he's not too bad, like I said, you just stay on him and before you know it, he's done and over with. Now here we go on to our second stage and this one really looks like Batman. Um, especially the first stage in Batman, if you were to remove all the Jap or the uh, the uh, Chinese symbols in the background, you would definitely be able to see. Oh, this has a lot of similarities with Batman. Nonetheless, the gameplay is really solid. Um, the controller, uh, just I mean, everything is really, really uh, well designed. It doesn't feel loose at all. Um, 
graphics are really good for it, the music is great, it's a really well designed game. Here's where it gets even more similar to Batman. Now, I can't tell which company came up with the concept first, but obviously one company was uh, using some of the ideas as this, the uh, the other company was. Either that or else they had some uh, designers uh, from the same game working on both of these. Because it's just too coincidental having this much of similarities between the two games and having two different companies. So. But don't let that be a turn-off or anything like that. I mean, both of the games, I really enjoy Batman, I really enjoy this game a lot. They both have their really good points to them, so... Like I would mentioned before, if you get a chance, I would totally recommend picking this up. Yeah, let's go in here. This is our second boss. Now, he's a little bit tricky. If you stay up close to him, you're pretty much all set until he decides to dive on you, and then he goes flying across like that. If you're too far away, you'll get hit. And this time it wasn't too much of a deal, a big deal. Now this is where it starts to get a little bit interesting. Just gotta watch your timing as far as jumps go because unfortunately things like that happen. <laughs> How could that be any better of an example of what I was trying to say? <laughs> yeah, you just get hit from behind and you know, if you get hit, you're just going flying. And uh, yeah, that means game over here. So Gave me some uh, health there. Oh yeah. Now it's time to roll. This is the other interesting part of the game. Um, just so many different concepts in the game. Um, you know, this is kind of like your, I don't know if you want to call it Hogan's Alley, but, you know, kind of has that kind of feel to it, right? Alright, we're starting to get a little bit low on time here, but I just wanted to show you uh, what uh, Vice Project Doom looked like for the NES. And yeah, it's a totally great game, um, really excellent looking graphics, a lot of fun to play, and I totally recommend uh, picking it up if you have the chance. But like always, I'll put up another video here soon, so thanks for watching. Here's the, uh, the other stage that looks like uh, Ninja Gaiden. In fact, you know, some of the time it seems like, whoa, that's you. <laughs>